When oceans rise, my soul will rest in your embrace. For I am yours, and you are mine. Your grace abounds in deep. everyone that it's good to have you with us for our evening reflection. I hope you are continuing to keep well and safe uh, in these different and difficult uh, times. It seems as though things are making progress uh, which is encouraging but there's always uh, wee worries in the background uh, as well with different variants uh, coming into our country with cases going up. Um, so uh, please pray uh, that things do continue to improve uh, in our country. 
As always, lovely to have you with us for our evening reflection as we spend some time in prayer, uh, joining with Christians throughout Scotland. And we also spend some time in God's Word and just to focus upon eternal things uh, at the beginning of a new week. So often in life it can be easy just to kind of float along, either to be concerned just with uh, our families and our work situation. Uh, sometimes life is uh, continues to be busy, uh, but it's good for us to focus upon eternal things and to remember uh, that God is there, that God loves us, uh, cares for us, has shown his love uh, in the Lord Jesus. Uh, so tonight we're going to look at 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 4 and then into uh, chapter 5, uh, just one verse of chapter 5. And uh, then we will pray with the prayer that's been prepared for us this evening. But as we always do, let's just spend some time uh, and let's still ourselves uh, before the Lord uh, first and foremost. Let's spend some time in quiet now. Let's pray. Lord God, we are grateful that you are the God who is always there, that you are the God in whom we can trust. And so often, Lord, in our lives we can be so busy, so concerned with our own particular uh, lives and all that's happening, uh, that we don't give much thought to you. But we thank you for this time set apart to focus upon eternal things, uh, to remember that you are a God who is there, and to remember that you are the eternal God uh, who loves us with an everlasting love. Heavenly Father, as we come to you this evening, if we have anything of particular concern on our minds or in our hearts, uh, we lay it before your throne of grace and we ask that you might minister to us and that we would know of your presence. We thank you that in Jesus we have a great Saviour, uh, one who has died and is risen again, that we might have life in all its fullness. And we thank you that when we are here on earth, then we have the promised Holy Spirit, the one who empowers us and who is our comforter and our friend. So Father, may the power of your Holy Spirit be known as we meet together tonight. In Jesus' name. Amen. So scripture reading is from uh, 2 Corinthians and chapter 4 and we're going to read from verse 13 and then into chapter 5 verse 1. This is what Paul says, it is written, I believed, therefore I have spoken. Since we have that same spirit of faith, we also believe and therefore speak. Because we know that the one who raised the Lord Jesus from the dead will also raise us with Jesus and present us with you to himself. All this is for your benefit, so that the grace that is reaching more and more people may cause thanksgiving to overflow to the glory of God. Therefore, we do not lose heart, though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. So we fix our eyes, not on what is seen, but what is unseen, since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. For we know that if the earthly tent, tent we live in is destroyed, we have a building from God an eternal house in heaven, not built by human hands. Amen. God will bless this reading from his holy word. I wonder if you're ever tempted to lose heart. I'm sure there are often times in our lives when we just lose heart. And sometimes if you're a golfer, it might be when you're playing golf, you just think, oh, it's just gone really badly wrong. Uh, I just might as well give up. And it can be like that with any sport, can't it? Uh, things have obviously been difficult for uh, Kilmarnock this year and it reaches a stage you think, oh, we're just going to lose heart we, and got relegated and oh, things are just quite, quite down and difficult. 
But in our lives, we, in a more serious way, there are times when we can lose heart. Maybe times when we go through illness or uh, times when we're really struggling in our, uh, our job. Um, maybe things are just really difficult in uh, our family uh, situation. There are always times when we just lose heart, we lose our way. We just think, oh Lord, this is just uh, too much. I guess in the Apostle Paul's life, he faced some of those struggles. Sometimes when, you know, he was just downcast, things were difficult, everything just seemed to be uh, against him. And sometimes we think, well, Paul's an apostle, you know, he shouldn't really feel that way. But Paul was a man as well, just exactly like uh, we are. And yet he also had uh, the same struggles. But Paul says here that we, we don't lose heart. Now, why does he say that? Why does he say that we shouldn't lose heart? Though outwardly we are wasting away, inwardly we are being renewed day by day. As many of you know, I just had uh, my 40th birthday just at the end of April. And uh, it, it is a funny thing, isn't it? And many of you who watch it will be older, some will be younger. But age is a funny thing, and you think, you know, back to you know when I was 21, there's probably things I can't do at 40 that I could do uh, at 21. The body begins to, to age, and outwardly, we are wasting away, aren't we? And uh, I think it's often said, you know, a man's physical peak is somewhere about 26, 28, uh, and therefore it's, uh, it's downhill uh, all from there. I think a lady's just a, a bit further further on into their into their thirties. Outwardly we're wasting away, that is our experience. But inwardly we are being renewed day by day. And that's a wonderful thing, isn't it? That when we believe and trust in Jesus, we are renewed day by day. When we believed in Jesus the first time, we were born again, we were made new, we were given new life, and day by day as we come before God in repentance and faith, we are being renewed and we're one more step closer to glory. Paul says in verse 17, For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. Now, Paul says light and momentary troubles. We think, well, you know, I've got huge difficulty, huge problems in my life. But what Paul's trying to do is say, look, folks, have an eternal perspective here. You may be suffering for a month, six months, three years, five years, ten years. Maybe you've suffered for an awfully long time here on earth. But what is 20 years of suffering in comparison to eternity? It's actually a drop in the ocean. Now, Paul's not diminishing suffering here, incidentally. But he's trying to say how amazing glory is. What does Paul say? We fix our eyes not on what is seen, but what is unseen. Since what is seen is temporary, what is unseen is eternal. In my life, I can be often really guilty of just focusing on what is seen, seeing things that are just, or just focusing on things that are at a surface level, rather than focusing on things are eternal rather than fixing my eyes on Jesus and saying this is wonderful I'm being renewed each and every day and my home is not Scotland not West Colbrink it's glory it's being with Jesus forever and ever you see this is the perspective isn't it we know if the earthly tent we live in our physical body is destroyed we have a building from God an eternal house in heaven not built by human hands. The eternal building that we're looking forward to is something that will last forever and ever and ever. Our human body won't last forever. It's only temporary. But we look forward to that day when we will be with God in glory forever and ever. And so I want to encourage you tonight. I don't want to diminish your difficulties and your problems. But I want to encourage you tonight Let's look towards eternity. Let's understand that, that God holds everything in his hands. I want you to understand that 
suffering is temporary, but being with God in glory will last forever and ever and ever. We're now in June 2021, the pandemic or the lockdown certainly in our own country started in March 2020. So we're, I'm going to say, 16, 17 months uh, into this pandemic. Who would have thought that it would have gone on quite so long? For many people, this has been difficult mental health wise, losing loved ones, loved ones being hospitalised, isolation, children doing homeschooling from, uh, from home, and then, you know, still self isolation going on at different points if someone in their class uh, gets COVID. Who would have expected things to go on this length of time? And yet in the midst of it all, maybe God is saying, look, come back to me. Focus upon me. Focus upon eternal things. And know that I am the God of glory. I am the God who will support you at this time. So I encourage you, let's focus upon eternal things. Let's focus upon Jesus. Okay, let's join together with the prayer that's been prepared for us tonight. Let us pray. Living God, who raised the Lord Jesus from the dead, be with us on the journey before us. Be with us when the path is smooth and the horizon is clear. Lead us on to the place of your presence. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Living God, who raised the Lord Jesus from the dead, be with us on the journey before us. Be with us when the path is broken and the way obscured. Still lead us on to the place of your presence. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Living God, who raised the Lord Jesus from the dead, be with us on the journey before us. Be with us as we face the challenges seen and those as yet unseen. In all we face, may your abiding presence remain. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Living God, who raised the Lord Jesus from the dead, be with us on the journey. Be with those who grow frustrated and who feel disheartened. Renew us that we may discover your presence once more. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Living God, who raised the Lord Jesus from the dead, be with us on the journey. Be with us that we might share in the life of the risen Lord and the life everlasting in your presence. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Amen.
through.